did I tell you the story? Well, probably not, because it happened this week. Um, Amanda texted me right. on um, Wednesday, I think it was, all sort of upset and kind of like, oh, did you know, Did you hear about this? And I was like, what? What is it? What's happened? Uh-huh. Apparently one of the dentists has been found out to be a paedophile. Oh, like at around our, here? At our practice, yeah. At the, Which one? The Cush, Cush Dental. Oh, is that the one that we went through as kids? No, we no. went to the oh, other one okay. across the road from the medical practice. Look how nice that building looks. Yeah, it looks crystal clear. Yeah. Uh, but I so I think that's from the opening. Um, I so it, but I, it was the way she approached it to me, as if I was like, would, you know, she wanted me to do something about it. Well, like, but I suppose I could gather posse. Yeah, exactly. Go out and lynch the guy. Yeah. And I mean, she was on it after that, you know. So, so first of all, her worry was more about Ethan than about well, yeah, me, of course. Yeah. You know, and I was a bit like, well, I don't know how I feel about having a paedophile's fingers in my mouth, but well, I think well, they've been. Yeah, exactly. But you know, okay, fine. Moving on from there, um, it is loaded. Mind it did this last time. Oh, yeah, did it? See, um, <laughs> it, it was just like, okay, right, fine. So you're more worried about Ethan. First of all, just to alleviate everyone's concerns. There was no instance where this guy and Ethan ever interacted. Yeah. He was not our regular dentist, so he's had nothing to do with me. He's had nothing to do with Ethan. So there's there's no no legitimate concern here about the paedophile right. and his fingers. Um, but I obviously it's like okay, but the wider community and all that. Obviously, there's you know. I suppose there's an ongoing concern about, well, is he still practicing dentistry? I assume not. And then the dentist has shut their website down while they update their page. But then weirdly they sent all these fucking promotional emails out, like the same week. Come to Cush Dental and fix your smile. Now that we're free of paedophiles. <laughs> it was a bit like, okay, it's not much of a bandana to live on, but whatever. Ah, it's not like a very high standard, is it? Yeah. Well, let's say it was just the way Amanda was like, um, are you just trying to connect still? No. Um, Amanda was like, oh, it's it's ridiculous, like, unbelievable. And I was like, I I don't know what you want me to do about it, like, not being weird or anything, but, like... Well, yeah, like I said, I mean, if you want to get, get the boys and and go round and and break the guy's kneecaps, then, I mean... It feels unjustified considering he had nothing to do with my child or me or Amanda either. But has he been... Uh, or, or she? Or oh, she? he was involved, right. Uh, okay. is, it, is it alleged or is it... No, no, it's... it's um, don't know how legit this part is, but um, certainly the claim is that um, he involved like a 13-year-old in an act of bestiality. Oh, what the fuck? Not verified fuck, that myself. Man. But that's what Amanda kind of said to me. Is that's that, not even like... No, it's not... That's not your old school. I, I want to just make it clear there's no, there's no case where it's all right. That's not what I'm saying. But, yeah, know. you know, it isn't a case of like... Um, sure, she gave me a fake ID that said she was 22, nah, but she was actually 15, you know, type of thing. Like... That's just messed up. That's yeah. like, you should be locked up. This is... I had a dentist... And before I knew it, he'd take me out and made me shag a hippo or whatever the fuck. Good luck with that. Hippos are really aggressive. Good to know. Uh, hippos would bite you in two if you tried that. That's why there's uh, that's why there's like so few photos of. I don't think there's like any photos of. I forget if it's male or female. I think it's male hippos. Like you just there's no photos of them because you can't get close to them because they're so aggressive. They'll just attack you on sight. Jeez, oh. Um, but I. Um, that's uh, that's rough. Uh, it was disappointing. I will say it's you know your local dentist, and there was a guy at the dentist when Amanda first told me. I was kind of like, ah, it's him, and that's a bit of a shame because it turned out not to be him. All oh, right, so it wasn't the one that seemed that creepy. Yeah, and this guy, he's nice enough, but he's just he's got a terrible bedside manner. And then actually, they're all kind of weirdos because the. Um, hygienist hygienist is weird only works like a Wednesday for a start yeah. it's like what's she doing the rest of the time and then she again terrible bedside manner when she's talking to you it's like she's never spoken to another human being in her life before Yeah, you know it, you, it's just so impersonal like how was your week uh, and it's 
Blake art was good. Ah, oh, that is interesting. <laughs> Right, Moving go. on, and then it's like, okay, we're not gonna have any follow-up questions, you know what I mean? And then when when she's doing the actual like hygienist thing, you know what I mean? Like pure scrubbing your teeth down. Yes. She plays classical music. It's so disconcerting. So it's like you know pure. I don't know. Maybe like, it's meant to chill people out. Aye, but you know what you would call it? Not Giovanni. What is whatever his name is? Butchie. Uh, Butchelli. Playing in the background while she's like fucking ripping my gums a new one. Uh, and honestly, I, the number of times I feel like I'm drowning when she like does my teeth because mm-hmm. she's so rough. Aye. Uh, oh, there you go, that should be for Rob Beno. And it's, aye, the whole place is just weird. We're going to move dentist, I suppose, after this. This is it. So. Th- this, this was the kick up the arse I obviously needed. First the pedos and then the, let's say, the psychopath fucking hygienist aye they've just left me in no, that order no, they've just left me no choice I think that's exploded um, but I don't know, this is object to the route Amanda was trying to take me down what the vigilante justice route the vigilante justice route it's not on Batman you didn't marry Batman that's what someone who is Batman would say to try and get people off the scent. Yeah, I, I, su- I suppose you could look at it that way. Or you could look at it as that I'm not Batman. Uh, sounds, like, sounds like someone who's Batman might say that. What do I need to do? Do I need to push that down, do you think? Maybe is it grabbable? Mm. I don't Throw a battering at it. That I don't seems see to... What else I could do with it? Half the time that's the answer. I could probably just jump this ledge. Ah, mate, go, go. Good job, Robin. Um, so I uh, that was that was my week, going out hunting down paedophiles. Just a harmless, good old time. What about yourself? Oh my word! Anything exciting happening to you this week? Eh, uh, not really. Um, um, not back sparring or anything yet. Cause I'm not, not I. Cause you're fucked. Cause I, cause I get bullied in the face and um, get a big dirty scar there now. Look like uh, some sort of anime protagonist, hopefully or antagonist. I don't know. It's actually it's a kind of cool spot to have it. It's not quite the the stereotypical one. Uh, yeah, like the, down the way. Yeah, uh, 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 <laughs> um, what's his name? Eddie Hall had one like that. Oh, shit. Eddie Hall the. Uh, World's strongest man, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. He, he has one over his eye like that. Does he really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, didn't know that. And I, it's, I, I'm sure he did it himself. So he just like took a butcher's knife. Maybe he'll disagree. Like, no, 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 I was lifting like 400 he, pounds in the bar still napped and hit uh, me in the face or whatever. Well, like I mean, it may well have happened to be fair when you're flinging about freaking 400 kilos or whatever it is he, he lifts. Um, yeah, let's say, I, 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 I wouldn't believe that story. I believe the story like he was playing God of War, saw him where he's cool. Like, <laughs> fucking. And what, did it to himself? Yeah, and did it to himself. He, um. We've all had that thought. He was on, um. Yeah. I, I quite enjoyed a show called Portrait Artist of the Year. Sometimes they do the Landscape Artist of the Year, it just depends. It's on Sky Arts, it's very hoity toity, but it's really good. Like, the paintings and shit they do are really good. It's typical, I, I, I almost never agree with, like, the ones that they choose to win. Mm-hmm. Um, I think one year it was the guy I liked won. And then I think every other year, none of them are bad, obviously. But you're like, really? It's it's like they 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 won't pick someone too similar to the year before, but they won't pick someone too different either. It's like kind of what's trendy and all that good stuff. But anyway, the reason I bring it up is uh, Eddie Hall was like uh, they get celebrities to like sit and get their portraits done. Oh, and your man yeah. Eddie Hall. Um, he was there. Ah, uh, he was there getting his, his picture taken, and and of course like. Um, you know, it's like uh, one of the women that like presents it. I don't know, I can't remember what her name is, but she's like some posh, like eighty-year-old like woman. So she was like, "Oh, I, I think you could give me a hand moving my sofa." <laughs> and he was just pure like, "Ha ha ha!" Yes. Just like shut up, you. I bet like is it? I bet he's never had that pattern before. Exactly. It was just yeah, it was just pure cringe, like old, but not even boomer patterns, like you know, like old people pattern, but. No, but it's, it's also it's quite condescending, isn't it? You know what I mean? 
So I'm the fucking world's strongest man, love. I don't fucking love ah, sofas could, anymore. He, he could give you a hand moving his sofa, but like, can you afford them? Probably? Exactly. There's, um, there's, there's businesses that do all that. Nah, I'm sure the gentleman's got more going on than just that. Ah, he's doing YouTube. He's, he's, ah, he's, he's doing, doing a lot of YouTube stuff. reviews and stuff. Which actually well, reviews? Like. What's, what's he reviewing? He reviews gym fails. Oh, does he? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, stuff. I mean, he'd know, like... Yeah, exactly. He's like, that guy's strong. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that guy is actually strong. It's um, a lot of them doing the more the kinesthetic stuff than sort of what he does, you know what I mean? Right. Just pure, like, raw power lifting. Okay. Um, so it's like a guy was suspending himself um, on one of those kind of pull-up things and doing, like, you know, the... You, you see it all the time, guys doing, like, the stairs where they're, like, walking up a fake set of stairs and mm-hmm. then do, like, walking down them again. And um, this, this guy, man, he was, he, he was really, really quite something to behold because he was like um, using it um, with weight on as well so he's like you know doing pull ups and that slow movement while he had like you know a 20 kilo bar Mm. um, fucking on his pelvis or whatever um, and wearing like the weighted vest and stuff like that and it's obviously how he got to that kind of strength level Yeah, is because he's been doing it you know it's not enough to do a fucking pull up yeah, half of the people probably couldn't do a fucking pull up to start with, but aye. Aye, to do a pull up and then go, do you know what? A pull up's not quite hard enough. I'm gonna stick fucking weight on it, mm-hmm. and not just weight, weight like awkward can barely oh, good jump, uh, you know, barely manage weight. Aye, know. Robin was brave. Did you see that? He's a fucking leapt that fucking thing. No fear. Wait, you kind of have to. I don't know how to put it, like consciously hold hold on to like a vest. You just put on. Aye, but yeah, mid- you, you know, balancing like, it between aye, the fucking or squeezing like yeah. your legs together or whatever it is. is kind of like Batman and um, what you might call it, Batman v Superman, where he's training. Aye, like, in that one the scene, chains, when he's aye, yeah, doing chin ups with the aye, the fucking the zero. I, I've got I've got mixed feelings about that scene because on the one hand it is kind of like heck yeah, but on the other hand I'm sort of like lift all the weights you want, like you're you're, you're not, not gonna be yeah, Superman, yeah, yeah. I know. Because you left, if anything, you're just going to tire yourself out for the upcoming fight. <laughs> and I'm sure it was like two days before or whatever, but um, yeah, being ultra cynical, I was like, what? Um, and I'm, I, I, I'm more a fan anyway. I'd rather see them like, um, I'd rather see him doing some like martial arts, doing some jujitsu or something like that. But um, Does he do any of that stuff? Who? Bat- not Batman, obviously, but... Well, like, Benny. Aye, uh, Benny. Does uh, he actually do anything? Well, no, probably not, and that's that's why they... Ah. Any dickhead... I'm not saying lifting weights is easy, but like any dickhead for a film can be like, I'll do a few bicep curls, are it sure. But to have him doing, like, you know, proper martial arts and stuff. Ah. There's a bit where he... There's a bit in... Um, it might not be in the Snyder Cut, but it's in the Whedon Cut where he throws a sidekick, and it's like the worst looking sidekick I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. And it, I mean, I get it. Number one, he's an actor, not a martial artist. And number two, in that suit, it looks really cool, but it's probably not the most like easy thing to move in. And like, I get that, but I don't know. It's, he's Batman. Batman shouldn't be throwing bad sidekicks like that. That's what. That's one of the reasons why. Um, what's his name? Uh, Gangster Squad. Old oh boy. Gangster Squad. Roland, Josh Roland. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's the that's one of the reasons I was against him being Batman is if you've seen Gangster Squad's a pretty good movie, right? But he, he punches like this, like it's like with his sort of <laughs> Imagine he's doing the swan, you know, like the when he flex with the see, swan. Yeah. Uh yeah, like flex with his uh, sort of wrist straight out, he's like eh, eh. And I was like, I swear if I if I were watching a film and I saw Batman throwing a punch like that, I'd walk out of the cinema. <laughs> that's harsh criticism, but it seems probably fair enough. And- yeah, I mean it, look, uh, it, you know, in like the Batman for example I think I'd swing Bobby Pattinson up and down the place but like he he can throw a punch well enough that it looks good on camera yeah. and that's that's all you could you know that, that's all I'm asking for they're casting him as an actor for his like dramatic performance and all that crap and I'm totally okay with that but you know if you're gonna, I gonna so if you're gonna right. if you're gonna portray Bruce Lee then you should be able to throw a punch um, and you know at least the way they filmed it, they made it look like Bobby Pattinson could throw a punch, and if I saw Josh Brolin going, eh, eh, in the bat suit, I would have stormed out. Um, 
So, so yeah, uh, just, what, just as well. How, how do we get? Uh, well, get just, just as well we, when he was playing Thanos, he doesn't have to really. Yeah, exactly. Because it's all CG, so like. They, oh no, just that Thanos doesn't really punch people. He um he swings the Hulk about pretty bad at the start. Of oh, you're right. Aye, he does. Yeah. Aye. Bod- it's like, it's like he more him. or less just kind of does that thing with the gauntlet where he goes, mm, and just lets the gauntlet superpower take over. Yeah, it but I mean, why, why wouldn't you? I suppose. You really couldn't have just pulled yourself up on that ledge. Really, no, Robin? That, that was too high. That was clearly too high. Just, what was the point of that? No, because you can't hide the bell anymore. I don't know, but just throw a bar running out of her, I guess. Oh, didn't mean that. Gotta try again just to get in here. Actually, we were, talk- we were talking Batman and fighting, and like, that's how we got in the kind of. Ah, it was just. Uh, I'll need to find the clip because it's, it's just so. It's like the quintessential here's how you don't throw a sidekick. Um, but anyway, nah. No, otherwise. Um, my only other issue, really, with the fighting, as far as like, Batman wise, in Justice League, was half the time he's running around with like a gun. Yeah. Like a laser gun. And I get like he took it from one of the parademons or whatever, but. That's just that's just any guy. Batman doesn't use guns. He should have been using batarangs and what have you. Yeah, well, he uses a batarang like near the end. Oh, shit. No, no, sorry. No, it's, I don't know. I just just throw like anybody. That could be anybody. Why don't you throw a batarang at him? No, uh, Batman could have just done like that. Um, we've talked slightly, but not entirely, about the new Flash movie. Yeah, had I seen the trailer when we were last recording? I think not. No, I, I've seen it now, and uh, to be fair, the, the trailer is really cool. That is, that is really good. It does look very, very interesting, and I agree with you. I think they should have not gave away the... Uh, is her, Zara jor is that is that her name? Something you know, Supergirl. Yeah, I, I feel like they should have gave that away. I feel like that should have been... Yeah, I think I think for someone... Um, they should have just shown like, the Superman symbol or something. Yeah, exactly. And you'd be like, oh, cool, Superman's going to be in it as well. Like, it, would, it would have been a surprise for me as a kind of fan to see her. Mm. Um, sure. um, ah, it would have been a surprise for me to find out it was actually Supergirl, not Superman. Yeah. Especially now that it's, it's all kind of up in the air. Um, I wonder if Billy D. Williams will, will make it like... He's I mean, not going to be an important cool. character, but like even just a cameo to finally get to be Two Face because he always wanted to be Two Face, <laughs> but he never got the chance. I'm really struggling though, shit anything. Why do they have to use a water cannon against a fucking helicopter? Come on, this isn't fair. Look at that. I wonder if Alfred Molina is still alive. You know the Alfred from the Burton films. I'm pretty sure Alfred Molina is, um... That's not him, is it? That's not him. That's not him, is it? No. That's, that's Michael fucking, Gow. That's Dr. Octopus. Yeah, Michael Gow. <laughs> yeah, what do you say? Because his name's Alfred, I must have just... Uh, like an Alfred. Uh, 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 Michael Gow, I think his name was. Yeah, Michael Gow, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah, I think, I think he... 99.9% sure he's dead. Because he was 102. Uh, 30 years ago. I don't think he was 102. Aye. Well, he's dying in the Watch We Call It movies. And, uh... Batman and Robin, yeah. yeah. But then they save him, so uh, I suppose the argument. Oh, yeah, that's true. Shut it. He was dying, but then they saved him. They yeah. gave him. Uh, I just, just, just so that he. What could was he show dying up. of? I was dying of the same thing as um, um, Mister Freeze's wife. wife. Uh, well, I'd know beat the shit. Out of Why does he get so much health? Damn, he's gonna beat the shit out of him. Is that all you got? Oh no, oh, that's quite clever. Shot. Beat the shit out of you. Well now he's got a gun. Oh, that's that's more like it. Fucking Watch awesome. out, he can't have peace. Watch out, Shrek, he can't have peace. Oh, uh, Amanda went to see Puss in Boots, the new movie. Aye. Said it was really dark, so I had a really dark sense of humour. It was All like right. not really appropriate for her and Ethan to watch. Right. But I didn't see it, so I can't, I'm not going to really make that. But was, 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 was the dark stuff obvious or was it, you know, kind of subtle? I think it was a bit of both. I think just the general tone. Aye. It, I mean, part of it is he's ran out of lives or something oh like he had yeah his isn't that set up like he's on his final oh, life or something he's on his final life so death is following him and uh, I've heard it's quite good though yeah no she said it was good they enjoyed it I'm just looking forward to um, the new Shazam movie I might actually go see that uh, it's out next week uh, the first one was good and the critics critic reviews seem quite positive and James Gunn is now kind of at the helm of the DC 
Uh, I wonder if it's gonna be carried forward, you know, like canonically or whatever, because like people are talking about the flashes might be a kind of somewhat of a reboot. I, I hope so. I think that was maybe always the intent. But ah, I, I think they just need to kind of draw a line under it and just go right. Let's let's do it and do it properly. Mm. Let's align the TV shows a wee bit because the TV shows were quite good when they started, but gradually as the budget moved away, the TV shows just became shite in quality. Mm. And I, I watched like The Flash. I'm up to season eight of The Flash. Not quite Fuck finished yeah, it. But, seasons, yeah, exactly. Whereas Arrow, I think, had the same number. I bailed on Arrow at season two. You had fucking Legends, you had Supergirl. Uh, neither neither was a, a watch, but only because um, they were on a channel I could get at the time. And then it kind of you know, passed me by. Um, Supergirl, I'd give a chance. Um, even Legends of Tomorrow, I'd give a chance. But, um, yeah. uh, Arrow, I liked. I think it was series three, I kind of... It's not even because like, I thought it was bad, but again, it was like kind of awkward to keep up to and it, yeah. keep up with. Um, for me at the time and I, lot, I, didn't, I didn't like episodes. it Aye, yeah. I, I didn't like it enough to kind of go through the hassle if that yeah. makes sense that probably just made me sound pure lazy but. no but if when it's like 23 episodes a season like 45 you know roughly 45 minutes Aye, an episode you know you're talking nearly 23 hours of television like what the fuck Aye. loft a little bit dark Jeez, oh. that's it nailed it don't crash it. I thought he was going to crash it. Just got to do that. Defy gravity. Is that going to come back down? Is it like I, it? I think he had jets on the back yet, holding him up. Because he needs those. Oh, it's a Spider-Man. I Can you just see that Spider-Man. on the, the tax deduction at the end of the year? For Wayne Court. <laughs> Bat jet. Reverse thrusters so that you could pose in front of the moon. Yeah, yeah, we, we totally need that. That's why, essential. That's why, my, that's why Lucius Fox is essential to the Batman story now. Because the technology is now so advanced that it's, it's completely unbelievable that Batman did all that himself. And I know some guys' takes is to downgrade the gadgets, but part of the fun is he's kind of like James Bond. He has a gadget that just kind of... It's a fix-all. Uh. But oh, could, that's the utility belt. I, I compare it to like a, a magician's sleeves. You, you, they don't really tell you exactly what's in there. I don't know, but he doesn't need to. Uh, he's planned planned a lot of things in advance. When he's mm-hmm. going to fight the Joker, you know, he's got Joker toxin. Like, mm-hmm. all right, I think he carries that more often than not, to be fair. And likewise, I was like, I'm going to Metropolis, I'm going to bring a fucking kryptonite ring, just in case. Aye. Just in case Clarky boy gets a bit wary. Really? He's how he slap but I that was quite enjoyable it was unfortunately I did the last level by myself well the, so you, the Wiimote yeah. I didn't want to say anything but the Wiimote was being all the uh, Wiimote was just being a dick and I didn't want to, I didn't want the whole episode to just be like oh fuck shoot sure, I'm trying to connect <laughs> so I was like I'll just kind of quietly try and fix I know you want to work aye that's what I'm saying <laughs> press the one and two just there aye very good yeah I'm a farter I have to memorise all these names. Chris Woodworth. Dale oh, Hemingway. Don't know who he is. I'll remember Dale Hemingway and you get the rest. <laughs> Aye. Tim Hill. Two Tims on concept art. Aye. Well, that seems convenient. Yeah, it does. Seems biased there, man. Ralph Fernie Howe. Bet he got bullied at school. Oh, I thought that said Roland Hugs. Roland Hugs. Yeah. John Arden, Alistair Brown. As a boy I used to go to school with called Hunter. Hunter! Aye, Hunter! Uh, yeah. And then there's a dude in my new team called John Hunter, and I go up to him and he, he has no, you know, he has no uh, he continuity. I just come off and I'm like, Hunter! And he's like, what, what the fuck are you talking about? And I'm like, don't you know? He's like, your brother. Like, he, wasn't, he was no relation to him at all. Hmm. This other guy called uh, uh, John Hunter. Ah, uh, whatever. And he's now Hunter. I had, actually, speaking of names, I had a moment of um, positive discrimination. Right. Where I put a call into IT about something for one of the, the guys who worked mm-hmm. for me. Um, and um, his his legitimate name is, like, Manjinder. Right. Um, but he, he kind of, as soon as he started the company, he was like, no, my name's, like, Stephen. Okay. Um, 
I, I'm not using real names, but that's just the example, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, you know, uh, phoning up HR saying, I need to sort this problem for Stephen. And the lady was like, that, there's not a Stephen in your team. Do you mean man gender? And I was like, what's that about? Fucking, like, as if I was being discriminatory like that thing in um, uh, American Dad, there's an episode of it where he, like, goes to the African village Mm-hmm. and they're like you know I'm Motombi or whatever right. and he goes I'll call you Hot Rod and yeah, it's like I, I didn't fucking call him Stephen I didn't Aye, he I, called himself that yeah exactly yeah. like that's his name he chose that as his you name you weren't like no we're not having any of that yeah I exactly yeah, I was like, like yeah we're man gender I was like no shut it it's like no now on your car <laughs> yeah exactly like, imagine pulling that shit these mm-hmm. days but I honestly this HR buds was pulling me up because I, I was like you know st- called him Stephen and I mean, maybe to her, it was like, his profile is still listed as his actual name, but I was a bit mm. like, what the fuck? You know who I mean? I mean, people are so touchy these days about what they want to be ref- referred to and all that type of shit. Oh. I so, feel, if yeah. this gentleman wants to be called Stevie or whatever, then cool, I'm going to call him Stevie. No, exactly. It's, he chose that name. I was like, I'm not forcing it upon him. Exactly. But then I, for the first time in our company at least, I'd seen someone list their preferred pronouns. And right. they're like their uh, company signature. Right. Um, so she's like a, I don't know, a continual improvement manager. Uh-huh. And it's like pronouns she, her. And you're like, well, no shit. Uh-huh. But again, it's just embracing that whole nonsense fucking culture of, yeah. And I, I, did I tell you what I was going to choose for mine? Um, yeah, but tell me again. I was, I was going to be Vegeta, stroke Prince of All Saints. <laughs> <laughs> As your pronouns? As my, as my preferred pronouns. Yeah. Uh-huh. 